everyone. This is Bob from Frank and Cooler. Out of my backyard on a hot Arizona afternoon. It is actually 109 outside. According to the, uh, the weatherman, my infrared thermometer says it's 110. The thermometers that I've got set up here on this cooler, one says it's 104, the other says it's 105 to 106. In uh, any case, it's hot. Dew point is about 70 degrees. It's extremely humid. What I've got in front of you here are basically just two blow boxes. The one you see on your right side is a air uh, design using a blow box. Basically, this is a thing that I came up with a couple of years ago for private aircraft for relatively short-term cooling. It uses a uh, 4.5 ampere battery and a 28 quart Coleman roll around cooler uh, that can hold enough ice to basically go for about an hour and a half to two hours. This battery will run this unit for about an hour uh, and 45 minutes to two hours. Basically this is long enough for your average small airplane to do ground operations in taxi and get up to an altitude where it's cool enough where you can turn this off. So like I said this is a, a blow box completely self-contained on top. The only thing in this cooler is a pump. So compared to my original air design, there's a lot more room for ice and water inside this thing. It doesn't have radiators, it doesn't have tubing, it doesn't have an insulated barrier. So anyway, this is an air. The unit you see on top of this cooler is connected to the unit. And I'll show you it's connected to the cooler. There's the tubes going into it and uh, there's just a pump inside. The one you see on the left is basically uh, just sitting on top of the cooler. It is another blow box that has been put inside of a relatively inexpensive project case that you can get on Amazon. I wanted to make this as small as possible. In fact this is just small enough there's not actually room for a um, motor controller, a variable speed motor controller. This basically is just an on off and it's using a wireless remote control. So anyway, this is just a way to uh, minimize the footprint of a blow box. And again, this one is just sitting on top of this cooler. It can be used with a soft-sided cooler or any hard-sided cooler. And uh, what I'm going to do is turn these on. We'll see what they do. Looks like we're going to be somewhere in the mid to low 50s on both of these. Excuse me for the shaky camera work here. So yeah, I mean they're the same basic blower and uh, radiators inside both these boxes, so I would expect them to perform the same way. So uh, basically there you have it. 109 to 110 degrees outside. Each of these coolers are outputting air in the low 50s. And I got to tell you, sitting in front of it, it feels great. And again, the new style air. And basically a small footprint remote control blow box prototype. I just wanted to do these basically to show you that blow boxes don't have to come in a little in a little carry case. You can put them in any kind of a project box or any kind of enclosure that's big enough for the radiators and the uh, and the blower. So uh, basically, you're limited just to your own imagination and uh, and the stuff available on Amazon. So there you go. Two blow boxes. By the way, these are both prototypes. Once I'm done with this video, I basically have no need for them, and I will be selling these on my website, frankencooler.com. Thanks, folks.